is Miriam Tucker reporting from the American Diabetes Association. I'm with Dr. Jay Schuyler. Dr. Schuyler, there are several approaches being looked at in, to prevent type 1 diabetes. How would you characterize the state of the field in 2011? Well, well really, uh, Miriam, the, uh, the issue is that we've been testing things in new onset type 1 diabetes to see whether or not they modify the course of the disease and to gain insights as to which ones are safe enough to take into prevention, which is the question you've asked. And, and what we've learned is that some of them don't work in new onset diabetes, but they are safe. So uh, they might work earlier in the disease process for prevention. So the fact that they haven't worked in, in new onset doesn't mean that they shouldn't be used for prevention. And whether we need a combination of things to really arrest the disease process is the other open question. And so we've got to take all the information and really try to say, okay, where does that leave us now? And to me, it says that we still have a number of promising things to look at. We still are not happy with, with the way some of the results have turned out because we think trying to help people with new onset disease would be useful too. And so I think the, st the, the field is in a state of flux at the moment. And we're going to have to go process all of these things and, and try to say, where does that lead us for the, for the next round? And, and the next round may be combination things in new onset first, but then we have regulatory issues to deal with. And we also have to convince potentially different manufacturers to, to get in bed together to give us medications we want to put together and they may not be interested in that so it, the, the challenge is for those of us who are trying to understand this better and and really dissect the disease process find out ways that we can alter it is um, is, is going to go on for a while as we try to to do things to sort it out are you optimistic about the future oh i am because I think all the things that we're learning are, are, are little pieces that, that come together. You know, it, it's the same way you reporters tell stories. You get today's news. But in the end, somebody's going to sit down and write the book about all the stories that went on. Or, you know, if, if we're dealing with, for example, the, the, the war in Afghanistan, you're going to report each day's, each day's events. But at the end, something it will be over and we'll be able to go back and put it all together. I think that... Uh, too many times audiences hope that today we're going to have the headline that really changes the whole course of things. And it doesn't work that way. We, we make steps uh, progressively over time. And I think we've made lots of good steps where we've learned a lot of insights and that we're going to, we're going to continue to make progress. And I hope in my lifetime we are going to lick this disease. Where do you think we'll be in five years? I think we'll be farther along than we are now. Thank you I don't so try to put time frames on things. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Schuyler. This is Miriam Tucker reporting from San Diego.